May 13th on it. Associations always had a boat dolly and went to grab it. Went to grab it this year and it's gone. I don't know where it went. So we'll improvise. This works. I tweaked my back. Come on. I'm not a good year so far. That worked out good, except for that soft sand. I don't want to do that every time. But, uh, once in a while it's okay. Maybe twice a year.
Let's see how cold the water is. Oh yeah, chill. That's it. Soft. See how soft the sand is there. Every year, the beach is a little different. It's like a lot of sand piled up right there. That's an hour and a half from high tide. And it doesn't quite seem right. But that's what the Thing said, I have that app on my phone too, because this looks to me, well, I'm going to hit a rock here, a lot lower than an hour and a half from high tide. Huh. Oh well. Figure out where the soft sand is. But we'll put this out. And I don't know if I still can see it. Oh, there it is. I don't know if it was open the glasses. Two masted schooner. Uh, up hauls in the water and hurting up fishing, I guess. in it. It was already filled with foam I found out but I sh shot some more of that two-part foam in it and yeah is that mine? No. I do have another one out here but I'm not putting that out today. I think the whale is going in this year. Lack of funds. Well, maybe I'll see if I can get the engine running in my spare time. Where is... Oh, there it is. Pretty sure that's it right there. Yeah, it's just a lot further over than it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be right where I am now. can't read the numbers on that, or if that says a name on the side, my name. But anyway, right where we are is where I wanted it. Nowhere. Now, they have moved, sold the house. That's the morning went with the house. I don't know. Uh, uh, I should be getting close. Take a look. On course. On course. So far out. But still kind of shallow and rocky in here. So. see it, but I know it's behind me. 
There it is. I think we had. Hmm. Oh shoot! That gloves out. Oh no, there they are. The peak. I think we had six or seven moorings out here. Get down to three in the last few years. Um, now I'm down to two. Do this for as long as I can. Then we'll have to outsource it. So I never used never used a line like this before, but I noticed that's how the boatyard does it. And they're professionals, so you gotta figure they know what they're doing. At least you want to hope they know what they're doing. So normally, I would pull that whole chain in and just do a rough inspection. But, I'm not going to do that this year because my back hurts. We are trying to do everything carefully here so that I stretch it out but don't hurt it. The other thing they don't do is this. They don't have this chain that goes through, but I find it a lot easier, um, so we are going to do a chain that goes through, but I think what I'm going to do is put no, done anything to hurt my back. All right. These don't have to be on all that tight. I used to think they had to be tight, but they don't. They just have to not work off. So, let's check. Can this go through like that? I can. Can this come off of here easily? You know, easy relative term, but it can. Back on here, that all looks good. I think we'll bypass, we'll bypass those three if we can. And if we can fit it on here, if we can't, that other one. Yeah, close, it's very close. Oh, so close. Here we go. And 
next year I'll cut those two off. I didn't notice that. So sometime this summer, if I think of it, we'll come out here and check it. We also may switch to that other method. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yep, ready to take Lefty Lucy, and you're just not doing it right. How sad. How sad is that? You know what? We may go all the way to plan. I could just put this straight through it like it was. I mean, I might do that because of that. But that's not interesting. I know this is boring to whoever's watching it, but... Um, it out here when it's blowing stink say, ah, but that's good that's nice and solid that's all good and solid but it's not worn in there at all okay let's get this out of the way yeah are we good that's connected, that's connected. Yeah, we're good. Ugh. And here comes the sun. All right, June 10th going in this year. Today is May 13th. Someday. I don't think so. Let me figure out how to get these glasses to show the right time. This I replaced last year. I replaced this one again next year. It's all good. I was going to cut this way back, but I didn't. It's okay. I'll just end up cleating that one. Alrighty. Wind is still very light and just barely coming up. But now that the sun's out, it'll probably come up some more. Yes, it seems like we're close to the Roy's, but I think I'm at the. I'm pulled back out this way as far as it's gonna go. Oh, uh, did I get the sails up? I can't quite tell. Maybe not. Not much wind even out there. Uh, cloudy day. Um, yeah, so this is on the list of things to fix. It just needs to be pump riveted. Yeah. Saying this for a number of years now. I did try to get that piece of wood off the transom. I gave up, just patched it. That and some, uh, what do they call that? Um, not miracle tape, but they make uh, paint to spray on. Anyway, use that stuff on the rivets. I gotta say, 
been out here just a little while, pretty much bone dry. What's in here? The water, I think, is from pulling in the winter stick. I don't see much else. That's good. It's a nice little work boat. Could use a transom fix there. You can go online and see if you can buy those. I wonder. Huh, I wonder. Maybe. Let's see where I put a piece of wood in the corner there to help hold it down. Huh. Yeah. Maybe that's something you can buy. Let's have to look. Otherwise, I fix the Orlock. There's a name for them, Warlock Holders. Still a little loose in this side, but it's not flopping around. Oops. Yeah, that was been out since last year. Oh, going over by that mooring is going to be too much work, so I'm not doing that. Just course. Yeah, we're good. Well, that's good. So I can leave the boat on the beach. That's not going to stink. Uh, very good. Uh, I don't know. Must be fish right there. And all the birds. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Bottom paint. Go in the water. So that's good. That's disgusting. Alright. So one less thing to do. I don't know if I'm gonna put out the wheel is mooring or not. We'll see. Lining up with the the day marker over there just looked looked like something else for a second. Well, not a lot of gunk on the winter stick, so expensive paint but it did work so that's also good seems a lot lower. I'm going to have to go look and see if I read that wrong. I thought I had an hour, almost two hours to high tide. Okay. 
Oh, there's a little water up there. Not all the way up there, but right there. All right, so we'll have to... this and see what the actual air pressure is. I guess the tide's coming in. It's gonna be... feels that bad. This actually remarkably good shape. Nothing had one barnacle. Okay. I'll take one barnacle. this I guess but it's really not too bad either. Alright. Alright now Too heavy. All right. 
right, let's see what happens here. the truck. Right. Yep. Did a good job on the lawn. Tree gone. Yeah, see the winds come up already. Got it done just in time. Yeah, that washed my hands and yet they're all still dirty again. This is still going, I'll shut it off again. Ah, stay up.
on. Bottom paint. I gotta get that cover off the shed. So it's May 13th, 2023. And get the mooring. The wind blew out. We started right up this year. It's very nice. But even though this plastic cover is only, I think, two years old, I have to go back and check, but it's not more than two or three years old. You can see I got rips all over here, which no big deal, I can patch those. But down here, it got a rip. And I don't know why, but it did. So I got the new tarp, I mean the tarp, plastic underneath here. But, oh, uh, that looks broken, damn it. All right, so anyway, I gotta get this all off. Get that new one on. It's easier to do it while the boat's here. And all I need is a step stool or a small step ladder up on the boat to reach that high. Otherwise, I gotta use that ladder and it doesn't quite reach, so you're kind of very precarious up there. I think that's how I did it last time. So anyway, just another short video. Also, I'm just taking videos. This is new. This, this is new. So, next year, I think I'll do the backstay. So everything else looks okay. Gotta keep an eye on it. Yeah, they all look okay. All right. I did want to try to grease this while I had it out, but it's problematic too. All right, so I think I'm just gonna power wash a few spots. I don't think I missed too many. Uh, so maybe just lightly sand. Maybe. Maybe just lightly sand and get some bottom paint on here. Um, I have a propeller. I have to sand that down and get some propeller paint. I used, oh god, my back. Um, I think I used the same paint on this last year, and it wasn't too bad. But I might try prop paint and see what happens. This paint is really not designed for the prop. Yeah, so I may have convinced one of my grandkids to do it. Probably not. Just a light, light sanding. Even if I just get the spots that I missed with the power washer here and there. All right, but anyway, off to Kimberly's. Check the battery and her other lawnmower. All right, signing out.